We are shifting. Will this be important in an hour, a day, a week, or a month? Resistance is our greatest tool of failure. Hello and welcome back to another video with myself, Lucy Davis. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be speaking about the energies of February 2023, which I am actually sat here recording this on my birthday, the 2nd of February. And I've got to be honest with you guys, I don't know where January went and I don't know how I have been able to just step into February and really not have a clue that it was coming. Bearing in mind, I love birthdays. I'm a massive birthday fan. Also, we've got soul school in just a couple of days. So it's really weird that all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't recorded the February energy. Now things, quite a lot's been going on over the last few days, which is why this video is delayed and my huge apologies for that. But I'm going to make up for it because have we got something spicy for you? Enough about this weird time lapse that I appear to be in. How are you all? Are you glad to have been finally be able to remove yourself from the heavy density that was January? January is such a weird month at the best of times. It feels as if it's really, really, really long. And that last week is a bit of a nothing zone, if, you know, in, in my opinion. It was such a good month in so many ways, January. But my goodness, does the energy feel different already? It was dense. It was heavy. There was things coming to the surface within, you know, yourself and within other people's. And I've got to be honest, you know, yesterday, the 1st of February was such a beautiful, beautiful shift. Um, you know, there's there's notifications here in Spain about the um, mask mandate being removed. So that is a massive shift on the physical level, which obviously leads to a different um, feeling on a spiritual level. So my goodness, are we really stepping into this month with a different feeling? We are out of all of the retrogrades for a little while. And it is just extremely, extremely exciting that the weather is starting to change here. Admittedly, I know that's not back in the UK and in other parts of the world, but the weather's starting to change. Things are starting to get a little bit lighter. And that is a definite reflection of how February is going to be. So... The fact that, like I say, things are changing right here, this is this is very interesting. It's a very interesting period of time that we're living in. Now, I don't use public transport here. I'm lucky enough to be able to drive a car and I'm confident enough to drive a car. But for those people that have been caught up in the um, public transport for the last um, six, eight, 12 months, two years that it's been going on over here in Spain, like that is gonna be a massive relief. The amount of bus drivers that are gonna be able to take their mask off and actually breathe fresh air again, whether they will or not is another thing. But I feel that this is a massive turning point. And that news came out right at the end of January, moving into February. And like I say, that is beautiful. It's a beautiful shift, a physical shift that is out there for people to be able to see that things are changing from an energetic perspective. That said, as much as I do believe February is going to be a really, really incredible month, uh, and a month of growth, a month of transformation, a month of opportunity, I do feel that we are about to step into another round of gaslighting for our, from our respective governments. So I'm asking you to just keep your wits about you a little bit as we step through this month. Okay, so February is going to be the quantum leap we require to start seeing things moving forwards in the direction that we want it to go. We have been in, we have been stagnant and very much in loops for many, many months now. And this is the first month to lift off. They're the words that were given to me when I was channeling this information. I can't remember if it's yesterday or the day before, but it was about lift off. Now, why they gave me that expression is beyond me, but I'm happy to take it because it makes me feel as if we are going to be stepping forwards, like a rocket being launched or something like that. So with this in mind, it's very important to ride the waves of productivity whilst also remaining grounded. We must ensure that we remain grounded this month. So how can we remain grounded in our body? How can we um, recognize how our physical vessel is working and getting connected with the spiritual realm? The first couple of things that they shared with me is self-love and self-care are going to be huge threads for this month. Take time to sit with who you are. 
without the distractions, allow yourself to feel every element of you. They use the word element, but I would like to also include in their emotion. A question I have found myself asking a lot in the last week is, will this be important in an hour, a day, a week, or a month? I'm finding that this is the most beautiful form of self-care right now. More often than not, the answer is absolutely not. It's not going to matter. It's it's not important and it's never going to be important. But, you know, you get the bit between your teeth and you run off with something. So I have been recognizing that more often than not, it's just my little girl. She just needs a little cuddle and she doesn't want to, you know, not be seen. So she's looking to be seen. She's looking to be heard and she's looking to be felt. So with this in mind, because of the energies that are coming in right now, in March 2023, I have decided that I'm going to do an inner child healing session. Now, I've not done one of these for about a year to 18 months. So it's going to be a massive, massive, massive transformational shift for anybody that attends these events. The last one was so profound. People have never been the same again. And it's extremely beautiful that that happens off the back of a couple of hour online events. So I'm going to be doing this in and around the 15th of March. Do keep an eye on my website so that I can hold space for you guys to be able to go through this. Now, my mission is to raise into your consciousness how quick and easy it is to get past this old belief system, this out of date belief system that is so ingrained so that you can recognize how you can move forwards with ease and grace. So do keep an eye on www.lucydavis.com and there will be so much more information on there as I come back from soul school. Do take time to nurture you and your soul this month. We are embracing the energies of transformational change. Now that's quite scary to a lot of people. So please acknowledge and remember that you are so divinely important. And these energies, if you lean into them and if you go with the flow with these, they are going to help you big time. Okay, so during these get shit done periods, we tend to see a lot of stuff come to the surface. We cannot move forward with all of our past baggage. If you are choosing to move forwards, you must release some of the old to make way for the new. You may notice that your intuition is guiding you to declutter, maybe clear out the junk food or switch out options for more aligned options. We are shifting. Allow yourself to embrace this. You may, be well, you may well be clearing out the old clothes or you may be like looking at friendships and relationships and just starting to step away from certain things. Maybe you are planning a move. Go with it. This energy is going to carry you forward in flow, which is a very beautiful divine feminine emotion. I like to talk about the divine feminine and masculine. So the masculine is the riverbed, the riverbed that supports, you know, it holds things together. It keeps things in check. And the flow is the divine feminine energy. We are in the, uh, the flow of the divine feminine energy this month, which is absolutely amazing as we step into Aquarius. One thing I would recommend during this period of time, it was very, very clear. I was shown extremely clear visions on this is removing old pictures from your phone or your room or your loft or wherever your storage is currently. Like mine is in a storage unit right now. But when I get home, I'm going to go through my photos and just make sure that there isn't anything lingering that shouldn't be there. What I'm being shown is the entanglements being created through photos and old possessions are going to start creating a new mess in your life. So it's time to declutter the old stagnant energy. It's time to declutter things that maybe you're like, oh, I don't really want this from this person, but you know, I feel obliged to keep it. Maybe you feel that you've moved through a situation. However, you still have some old belongings that uh, revert to that. This energy will bring that situation back up for healing once and for all. So my recommendation would be do yourself a favor, make it easier for yourself and step through it consciously rather than the universe kicking you up the butt to go through it. Because we know the universe gives you everything that you ask for. And if you are clinging on to the old, you are not going to be able to step away from it. Okay. Do this consciously. This will help your growth. This will help your journey. This will help you align to you. Resistance is our greatest tool of failure. 
powerful words, hey? When we surrender, we get acknowledged for our bravery. This is the month we need to get acknowledged for our bravery. There is a really brave like amount of energy coming through. The lion is just <laughs> roaring. Do not be surprised that opportunities present themselves to you through February. You will have an opportunity to rise up. Maybe that's public speaking. Maybe that's going to a protest. Maybe that's telling your mum that you didn't take this or that you're not going to do the thing that she wants you to do. It's up to you whether you take them or not. However, there is a surge of bold energy that is going to assist you doing things that are maybe out of your comfort zone. Don't be surprised if you're jumping out of planes. <laughs> I'd love to do another one if anyone wants to do one with me. If you find yourself saying yes to something you would normally run from, then trust this to be your path. I've got an absolute great example. Um, one of my beautiful team, I reached out to him and I was like, hey, I'd love to have you speak at Soul School. And without even thinking, he said yes. And I was like, right, great. So he, his name got put on the list. And then he messaged me and he's like, you caught me in a moment where I was just committing to do things out of my comfort zone. And now, and I'm like, oh, well, it's good. You've, you've committed to this now. Like that's the energy of February. So it doesn't surprise me that obviously the team were tapping into that nice and early. It might be worth you going back to check out the full moon video for the 5th of February that was shared last week. I'm going to link back to it here or as close to here as I possibly can. The full moon is going to shine a spotlight on a lot of which we have attempted to hide from, including ourselves. Now, this is actually the energy that's coming through is making people want to check out. They don't want to get caught. They don't want to be seen for the person that they know that they are. They would rather run away and they would rather, uh, you know, make different choices so that they don't have to deal with that going forwards we are shifting at such a huge rate right now consciousness is basically being offered to people on a plate and people are saying you know what i am done here through this there's going to be a huge surge of healing energy which may well result in the in dark nights of the soul for some it's time to be honest allow yourself to acknowledge feel and sit with it to release it once and for all if you are somebody that is starting to step into your dark night of the soul please just lean into it but just make sure that people know that you know that, that you're there and what you're going through and that's the most difficult thing actually putting your hand up saying you know what I'm going through some really challenging times right now but it's very important because sometimes we can get so caught up in it that we get lost and I don't wish that for any of you guys so please put your hands up please recognize if you are are going through something now the most beautiful thing about a dark night of the soul is when you get out the other side and you realize you're never going to go back to being that person so if you are somebody who's been resisting the consciousness shift if you are somebody that has been resisting the changes and the transformations that you know that you're capable of doing maybe through fear maybe through laziness maybe through distractions please know that you are very special and that we need you here so it's a very important time to be leaning in to this energy rather than running away. The whole finger of blame thing is going to be starting to be removed somewhat through February. We have to be taking responsibility for self. It's time for us to recognize we are living everything that we are putting out there. We are living our own creation. We cannot blame other people. Every single piece of our journey has been to bring us back into wholeness. It's to bring us back into oneness. We are all one of the same. There is not one of us that is any different to anybody else. So whatever you are calling in, you know, if you're somebody that's like, I know I'm here on a big mission. I know I'm here to heal. I know I'm here for this. Don't be surprised when the universe comes along and strips you bare and beats you until you surrender into the version of you that doesn't have the nonsense going on around it, the distractions, the, you know, the blame culture, that kind of thing. February, thank goodness, is going to bring a whole new um, layer of clarity. Now, I don't know about you, but it's felt as if we've had some stickiness over our eyes, almost like sleepy dust that's just needed to be um, removed. My eyes are really watering today. So, you know, if I keep doing this, I apologize. Um, it's almost like we're waking up from our sleepy dust. It's almost like we're coming out of hibernation now and we're just rubbing our eyes dry. 
um there it's it's like I say it's like the cobwebs are being removed or the murkiness is just being removed we're going to see things very very clearly we are going to be in a in a space whereby we are um feeling much more than we've ever felt but we're also going to be seeing and hearing with a heightened sensitivity I was um driving David to the airport this morning and um it was like I was a bat you know I had supersonic eyesight and supersonic hearing it was just really really interesting so that is what I'm talking about now like clarity isn't always just in the mind it's you know it can come through in um, physical as well like your eyes and your ears there is a whole influx of inspired energy like this month is getting me excited and I'm so sad that it's just a short one because you know the inspiration the clarity the love yes we're going to have things coming to the surface you know if you watch the full moon energy update like you will see um you know some of the heavier sides of the way that this this full moon is going to bring in for this month but the actual general consensus of the month is that it is going to be beautiful clear inspired um healthy energized was another word they gave me like we are going to feel energized this month now maybe we need to clean up our act maybe we need to make better choices maybe we need to be doing different things but the fact that they are saying this month is going to energize us makes me feel that march is going to be a month whereby we are going to need the energy that we construct this month to be able to move through march and april and into may with ease and grace we know we know that there is going to be a lot happening. We know that there's potential lockdowns coming. We know that there is more nonsense that's going to hit the planet. We know that there are elections. We know that there are, you know, lots of things in the political world and in the health world and, you know, um, things like that in the financial world that are going to happen. But this month is giving us hope. It's giving us joy. It's giving us love. It's giving us happiness. It is giving us hope and, and a reminder that we can get through anything. Be prepared to look through the looking glass with a very different view. What I mean by that is challenge yourself to look at things differently and see with a change in perspective. This is about taking off the blinkers and allowing yourself to look around, look inwards, look outwards, look at what you are creating and then take the steps to do something about it. Now, what's fascinating is David and I went out for dinner last night to celebrate my birthday, and we had the most incredible conversation about a few things that we're creating and business and bits and pieces like that. And that's the final thread that they gave me um, for the February energy update is creativity is going to go through the roof. So if you are somebody who's aspiring to create a YouTube channel or write a book or something like that, please go get it. Like, go get it. Make sure that it happens because you have the power within you. You are capable of absolutely anything that you choose to do. And the creativity is just going to flow. It's just going to be like you're opening up a channel. So I'm going to be working on my book a lot more this month because the creativity is just going to flow through in divine alignment. Now, they have spoken about different um, situations, you know, like immigration's closing down in the UK and other bits and pieces like that. My recommendation is just to keep going with ease and grace and see what happens. You know, like we like to create drama. We like to hear something and then like bring it in by saying, oh, yes, you know, because somebody said that is actually going to impact our life. Use February to step back into your heart. Use February. You know, I'm not a fan of Valentine's Day, uh, you know, because I just think it's a marketing uh, marketing thing. But use February to step into your heart, step into your love. Soul School has been divinely placed for this weekend on the 4th and 5th of February for a reason. We are here to create the shifts. We are here to ignite all of these things within the people that are going to be there so that then they can go to their respective countries and cities around the world and actually imprint that. Like everything is divinely timed and divinely placed. So please, 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 ladies and gents, do focus on yourself this month. Do love yourself more than ever. Care for yourself more than ever. Acknowledge yourself more than ever. If you need to rest, rest. If you need to run, run. If you need to do whatever it is that you need to do, please, please, please go do more of that whilst we are in these energies to support you every step of the way. 
Ladies and gents, I'm going to call it a day there. I'm going to link back to the video um, here that David and I did around the dark night of your soul. Um, please let me know how this energy update lands with you. Please let me know how the other videos that I've tagged in this land with you as well. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Lots of love, guys. Have the most incredible day.